Hope you are doing well. Now we are going to move on to our next topic, which is the 24th topic. The topic name is Extract Structured Data. So why am I really talking about this topic? I am telling you there could be few questions which will be very very tricky on this one. So what are they? I am going to talk about those important points that you must remember and also talk about what are the things that you must refer and show some bit of practical. Okay. Now very first thing, I hope you must have already used data scraping. This is the part of your classic design. Data scraping. In date, when you do data scraping, one of the activity which comes is extract structured data. So let's see that. For that, all you do, I have kept the Acme website open. Okay. And then I'm going to hit on data scraping and then hit on next. It will ask me to select an element. Let me select it. You selected a table cell, it automatically detects. You say yes. And then select, no, it is automatically showing you the data. Okay. And then I'm going to hit on finish. So what happens just by using data scraping, what have happens on our UiPath Studio? We get set of activities and one of the activity is your extract structure data. Is data spanning in multiple pages? So this is your next link. Uh, hit on yes. And then you point out the next link. Okay, so this much we have an understanding how the data scraping works. Now, what exactly I'm going to talk about? Let's focus on that. So this is the activity extract structured data, right? So there are a couple of properties, very, very important properties. One is max number of results. And the another important property, next link selector. Okay, why they are important? Let, let's talk about that. Now, for an in detail example, you must follow my video UiPath Dynamic Data Scraping All Available Data. Okay, this is the video which I have created. You must follow this. I will share the link in the video uh, description. Now, let's go to the docs.uipath.com. Now, in this one, let's read some of the important points. What is extra structure data? This is one of the activity in UiPath extracts data from an indicated web page that is the work you can specify what information can be extracted by uh, information to extract by providing an xml string to provide an, now look at what we have done we have done a data scraping because of that everything happened automatically we don't have to manually feed any data but if you look at the input extract metadata if you see look at the input how that input format is Okay, so you can see the XML format of the input. So it clearly talks about the column names that is there. It clearly talks about um, the attribute. It's a text attribute and extract table. It's a table kind of a data. So this is the XML format. If you manually use it, then you have to feed all this data. But if you use data scraping, it becomes quite easy. You don't have to worry about XML editor. But this is the place I can modify what I need and what I don't need. Okay, so this is where you can also comment delete. Let's say I don't need this column uh, WIID or I don't need the column actions. So you can remove all these options by editing this specific window. So this is your first learning. What is the second thing that you should learn? Um, so it talks about uh, this can be easily generated with all the properties set by using data scripting wizard. So this is easy. Now in this one, one of the important point is max number of results. I have highlighted. Let's read it. The maximum number of results to be extracted. If the value is zero, all the identified elements are added to the output. So this is very important. If the value is zero, all the identified. So let's say there is a page. You do not know how much data is there. It could be 100. It could be 200. It could be 1000. It could be dynamic. In that case, you want to extract everything that is there. Then you should select write zero you should not write all okay you might go wrong so you should remember this specific word so where is that option so here in the extra structured data look at it the max number of this one here instead of 100 i should simply write zero is that clear that will extract all the data 
Now, what is the next thing we should also know? The next link selector. What is this next link selector? The selector that identifies the link button used to navigate to the next page. So I showed you I was clicking on that next button. So that is all about it. This is just a selector. Okay. Next link selector. Where is that next button? That means okay. And here is the selector for that. Okay. So clear. So this should be pretty clear. Read through the documentation. Go through the video which I have created on my YouTube channel just to have a complete understanding. If you are very first time. If not, you can simply read the documentation. Thank you guys for watching. Let's meet on to our next topic.